Welcome to part number 15 of the Mega Man X4 Kirby Challenge. We're moving on to the second of the three final stages, and this is probably the best one out of the three, but that's not saying much. For this level, I am taking along the Frost Tower, for no reason other than I like the color scheme it puts on X. I like the light blue, it just, it, it works really well, I just think it looks really great. It's my favorite color scheme in the game, so, yeah. I don't, actually no, I do use the Frost Tower once during the level, and I think, if I remember correctly, it's in the second boss hallway. I'm almost positive that's where I use it, but that's it. I don't use it against any enemies or anything like that. Here is our first of two bosses. It is Double, who is... Uh, I guess he betrayed you, and now you have to fight him. I don't know the reason. I think he's some sort of, like, double agent. Like, I think that's... I think his name is supposed to imply that he's a double agent or whatnot. And as a kid, I really struggled with this boss. I thought it was the hardest boss in the game. But playing it now, <laughs> this boss is so scripted. He's so predictable. He even says his attacks sometimes. It's a joke. Sometimes he'll th say things like, DESTROY! And then he'll say something else, which I can't quite decipher. I don't know, I've never really listened to it closely, but... Basically, if you listen to what he says, he'll do some attack afterwards, and that's all you really have to do. He has so many voice cues, and that's what makes the boss so easy. None of the attacks are particularly difficult to dodge. Um, when you first try out the boss, you may think that some of them are hard to dodge, but... You kind of have to get the feel for them all, but they all have very, um, they all have solutions that will allow you to dodge the attacks relatively easy. There's one attack, which I think he does later on in the fight before he dies. That one right there. Um, that one requires you to be very quick, but other than that, nothing really is going to hurt you. Um, Double is actually one of the easier bosses in the game. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't really like the double fight. It's not fantastic. I really do prefer the fight with Iris that Zero gets, but, um, yeah, X doesn't get to fight Iris, which I think would be really cool. Has anybody done, like, a Mega Man X4 hack where you can fight Iris as, um, X? I don't know. I think that would be really cool. Anyways, the second half of Final Weapon 2... Um, gives you the option to go two different pathways. You can either go the top route or the bottom one. I suggest you stick with the bottom one. I think it's easier, but, you know, pick whatever one you want. Uh, you might think the top one is easier. I don't, but try out the top one, see if it works for you. The bottom one does involve uh, a very tricky uh, ride armor part. Uh, this is very similar to the, um, the item collection we did in Storm Owl stage. You just kind of have to inch your way forward, just so the you kill the enemies before they start shooting at you. And right there, I got really lucky. I jumped out and barely avoided that missile. Oh, that was actually pretty cool. I was surprised I survived that moment. But anyways, just move very slowly and make sure you kill the enemies before they shoot, especially those green flying ones. Otherwise, you will take a hit in the right armor, so yeah, you don't want to do that. Anyways, here's the second boss fight of the stage. It is General, and I hate this boss fight with X. Not because it's difficult or anything like that. No, on the other hand, it's actually really, really easy. In fact, it's so easy that I don't think that this boss was designed for X at all. I think this boss was designed exclusively for Zero, and when you do it with X, it's just so easy. You don't even have to try. You can just go from wall to wall and then just shoot at him from a distance. It's so easy. And I'm, I'm almost positive. I can almost guarantee that this boss was designed for zero. That's the only explanation. I mean, this boss is so easy with X. Sometimes he'll shoot out hands, but they move so slowly you can just get out of the way. It's a joke. I mean, I, there's no way that this wasn't designed for Zero. I'm sorry, I just, I don't accept that. I, I don't. I, I don't, I don't understand. How come they didn't take X into consideration for this? I just, I don't know. I think this boss fight was designed exclusively for Zero. 
and yeah, it's, it's, it's really easy with X. Just stay on the walls, the opposite wall from him, and just shoot. You can kind of line up where his head is, you know, and you'll get the feel for it eventually. But, um, yeah, it's... It's really not that hard with X, so... <laughs> yeah. The boss fight is actually much more fun with Zero. I actually enjoy the boss. Or I actually enjoy fighting the boss when you play as Zero, but when you play as X, it's just so easy. Anyways, up next is the final stage in the game, so I'll see you then.